my theme was leadership, but there was no definition as to what leadership was or the direction. And I chose to give it a, a very different and distinct sense from what others might want to say. I chose to, as it were, not dismiss the fact that as you get older, you learn expertise and wisdom and you gather, uh, you gather the moss of the ages and you can pass that on. But rather that leadership today and in the generations ahead of us is more about ideas and less about age. It is possible for a young boy or girl to have more energy about change and the direction of the world and the shape of the communities in which we live than a person in their 60s, 70s or 80s. I also brought into my talk today the reflections of the World Economic Forum's skills portfolio for 2020 to 2022. The world into which we're stepping may well be one of automation, digitalization and data, but what it leaves wide open is how do we relate to each other? How do we commune human to human? How do we take on the uncomfortable challenges of the failures of our world, of which climate change is evidently one of them, and then act in a responsible, caring, neighborly, caring country, caring globally way to deliver a future for all of the children of the next generations. I want them to think as head teachers of great schools, what are the leaders getting within the classroom and within the community of the school that allows them to step out of the bounds of the school and take the world on now.